Hi, I'm Yari and this is Direct Edition. This week we've got five brand new comics from this week's new releases plus some great new music for you to check out as well. So sit exactly where you are and we'll bring you the world of new comic books in the next five or so minutes. This week sees the release of issue 8 of Zatanna on DC Comics. This is a solid, engaging series, beautifully drawn and always great fun to read. Zatanna, it turns out, is a really compelling lead character and one who I think deserves a little bit more kind of respect and kind of admiration than she gets at the moment. I really enjoy this series and I definitely guarantee it's worth your time. So check it out, this is issue 8 of Zatanna on the shelves this week. This is issue 167 of Savage Dragon. Now, this is a series you've been following for a long time. We're finally getting some answers. If you want to jump in and get involved in Savage Dragon, you may well need a few back issues, but this is a great series. Eric Larson is a stellar artist, and he writes this book as well. It's a true labor of love of the comic book world, and just one I really can't recommend highly enough. So if you've got the time, and the inclination, give Savage Dragon a go. This is issue 167 and it's out this week. This is Ultimate Doom issue one, continuing the story that's been running in the Ultimate Universe for Marvel in the last few months. In this one, we see the return of Reed Richards. We see a very, very bad issue for Sue Storm and lots of other things going on in this little kind of alternate Marvel Universe. It's great fun and I really have been enjoying it. So if you want to check it out, this is a great jumping on point. Ultimate Doom issue number one out this week. This is this year's Batman and you'll really enjoyed this. A nice, long, satisfying Batman story to get your teeth into. And either you like the multiple Batman idea or you don't, but this is great fun. Dark, beautifully drawn, really nicely written and well worthy of the extra change it's going to take to grab yourselves a copy. It's out this week, Batman Annual issue 28. Superior issue three is out this week. Mark Miller releasing comics on time, hurrah. Second issue of Batman Incorporated hits the stands this week, well worth checking out. The always compelling American Vampire hits issue number 10 this week. One of my fave ongoing superhero series, Invincible hits issue 76 this week. The 80 page giant Batman is out for 2010. It's well worth checking out. Wonder Woman issue 605 is out this week as J.M. Straczynski continues his run. Matt Fraction's Uncanny X-Men run continues in 531. Namor the First Mutant hits issue number five this week. Some more Fantastic Four action in issue 586. Todd McFarlane and Robert Kirkland's Horn hits issue 12 this week. The Incredible Hulk is out, it's issue 619. The Very Invincible Iron Man is out this week, issue 33. Secret Avengers is out this week, this is issue number 8. And Deadpool issue 30 is out this week, check it out. This is the very latest issue of the very awesome series, two, issue 16, on the shelves this week, and it's the beginning of a new story arc where we're moving away a little bit from the whole idea of Tony Chu, the kind of poultry enforcer, to a whole new set of problems that have been laid out by Rob Guillory and John Lehman. I really enjoyed this and I cannot highly recommend this enough. Seriously, if you haven't already, check out Chu, one of the best ongoing series around at the moment. This is issue 16 out this week. 
So that's pretty much it for this show. In fact, that's it for 2010. We'll be back in 2011 with more new comics. In the meantime, follow us on Twitter, on YouTube, and on Vimeo. And listen, before I go, I'd like to thank all of the people that helped to make 2010 a great year for Direct Edition. If you're involved in the show, if you've been watching, if you've been behind the camera like our very own Tanya, thank you to you all. We'll catch you in 2011. Peace.